To get to the theme settings, we'll first click the gear icon in the portal menu. This will take us to the portal settings page, where in the left-hand sidebar, we'll navigate to tools, website, and click on themes. This will take us to a listing of the themes available in the portal, where it'll hover over the particular theme you want to edit and click view theme. In the theme settings, you have a preview on the right side, which you can change from the view on dropdown to any template in the theme, or any page using a template from the theme. The buttons you see in the top right will allow you to start creating a page or blog post using the theme, view the preview in responsive mode, and of course publish any changes you make to the theme settings. Then to the left, we'll see a sidebar where we'll make those changes. You'll see a number of groups here, but for now, let's focus on the global settings. All the other groups here are connected to global settings, so changes you make there will reflect across all the other options available. In global settings, if you have brand color set up in your portal, the majority of the global colors will automatically pull in those brand colors. If you don't have brand colors set up, or you don't like where the colors are being used, you can edit the colors directly. If you aren't seeing any changes you make in the preview pane, click the Apply Changes button to refresh the preview. In fonts, you can choose from any WebSafe or Google font to change the font family of your headings and base text. Other options available here may vary between themes, but generally you'll see options to change the max width of content, global shadows, and borders. Now backing out to our main groups, the other two you'll definitely want to like a look through are website header and website footer. The website header options will differ from theme to theme, but some settings specific to the header of your website could include the height and background of the header and fonts and colors for menus. Website footer will have options specific to the footer of your website, such as font and color options for text, links, and menus. If you're happy with the distribution of colors and fonts after editing these three groups, feel free to publish the changes. But if you want to further edit the styling, you can go through the other groups available to change font settings and colors on a more granular level. Once you're done editing the theme settings, be sure to click the publish button in the top right to publish your changes to the theme.